guys, welcome back. This is part two of And Then The Dark vlog series, um, of which there will be three. Right now, today, uh, it's a Wednesday and it's almost half past three and we have been allowed into the hub of the castle. This is actually the part of the castle that's uh, lived in. We have a few scenes, um, a dialogue section in here, which will be very nice. We'll use a boom with a zoom uh, H4 uh, attached. We'll also use Sennheiser microphones going into two Firepod Studios and a uh, MacBook Pro. Hello, I'm Liz McFarlane Davy, and I'm playing the role of Myra in And Then the Dark. Richard, the producer, Richard Conte, um, it was his idea, it's virtually his baby, and um, he contacted me having seen my photograph um, on file at the Ramson Theatre in Glasgow, where I do volunteer front of house. Um, so he had looked at their records, saw my face and thought, it may perhaps suit the role of Myra, and he approached me. Well, my character Myra is the wife of um, the character Stefan. I think she's probably been quite a strong woman um, when she was in full health. I think she, she was a, a strong enough character, but no doubt totally besotted with her younger husband. What happened? You must be reversing into John's <laughs> Smashing it. <laughs> and you're like judging him in the process. And you say that with such jollity. <laughs> Almost like it's, it's a like it's like it's like nervous laugh. Um, guys are just back from the lake scene on Wednesday night. Bit of a problem. The generator that we got didn't work. So they started packing up, coming back to the castle. There was a crash. Richard reversed into John's car. It's been a bit of chaos tonight. Missed it all, sorry. Try and get some evidence in the morning. Right now, the camera crew is setting up outside the front of the castle to do a smoke scene there instead of doing it at the lake. Hope we just carry in, Yeah, yeah. Just carry in, Richard. Disappeared, went home to see his wife. So I'm in the room myself tonight. I get the bed, although it was my turn already. He chose a good night to go home for himself, obviously. I need to catch up with you tomorrow. Bye! Forgot to say, I'm actually glad Simon's away home tonight uh, because. He snores pretty damn loud. I'd just like to take this moment to say to Lindsay. Good morning. I'm back. It's, um... Okay, so I got back and Greg basically has just told me all that happened last night. <laughs> and I, I, I go away for for a couple of hours, a couple of hours and everything goes... <laughs> Check out John's car. Thank you. 
Oh, okay. yes. Yeah.